Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in computer organization or computer architecture. So that is a data transfer and manipulation instructions. Data transfer and manipulation instructions. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the instruction format and the different addressing modes. Now we will see what are the different manipulation instructions. And in this, we will see the mnemonics which are being used to represent the operation. Right? So mainly these instructions are divided into three categories. So one is arithmetic instructions, arithmetic instructions and the next one is logical or a bit manipulation instructions bit manipulation instructions and the last one is shift or rotate instructions shift or rotate instructions and here these instructions means what are the operations that are being done in order to change the data that means compute the data right so we will see one by one what are the different instructions of arithmetic category what are the different instructions of logical category and what are the different instructions of shift or rotate category so we will see one by one so let us start with the arithmetic instructions arithmetic instructions so here, here we will see the mnemonics so usually these mnemonics are nothing but the words which represent the operation right so mainly these will be used in the assembly language that means a low level language and the mnemonics here right so usually uh, by listening the name arithmetic, we will be having an idea of arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, right? So these will come under the arithmetic instructions. Apart from these, there are a few more, that is INC, INC is the mnemonic, so which is nothing but increment, increment the register, the content of register. So whatever the register we are giving, that will be incremented, increment the content of registers. Okay, similarly, DEC, DEC means a decrement. So decrementing means reducing, right? Incrementing means increasing, decrement means reducing. So decreasing the content of registers. It will uh, decrease the content of registers by one, right? So here also you can go with a by one and here also it will be by one and next similarly add so this mnemonics this instruction will be used to add the content of the content of register with the accumulator accumulator right so simply it will add the content of register with the Content of accumulator. Accumulator is also the uh, processor register. We have already seen the design of accumulator, right? So by default, the register will be the accumulator itself, right? So this is you. This accumulator register will be used to store the intermediate results. So whatever the register we are giving, the content of that particular register will be added with the accumulator. If you are giving a two different registers here, then the addition of the content of both the registers will be happening. So finally, add means just by adding, right? Next, SUB is a mnemonic, so which subtract the content of register with the accumulator. If if one of if there is only one operand, right? So register with accumulator. And the next one. LUL it multiply the content 
of register with accumulator accumulator right with accumulator and usually the next one division divide the content so these are all the arithmetic operations we all know about these arithmetic operations addition subtraction multiplication and division right so if there is any only one operand obviously the second operand will be the accumulator if you are given two operands the operation will be performed on two operands and then add c that means it adds add the content of register with carry and sorry register of uh, uh, content of register and carry with accumulator accumulator so in the addition operation we can we may have a carry flag so the content of carry flag will all, also be added with the accumulator if the mnemonic is add c similarly sub b so it subtracts the content of register and borrow with accumulator so if it is a, it is an addition if it is an addition the carry will be there if it is a subtraction borrow will be there and next one neg neg means negation so it will negate or apply negation apply or perform negation on content of register content of register so all these instructions increment decrement add sub multiplication division add c sub b and negation all these comes under the arithmetic instructions arithmetic instructions and these are the mnemonics which represent the operation right op code is a binary format mnemonics means some string format now we will go with the second level of instructions second category of instructions so that is a logical or a bit manipulation instructions so we will see logical or bit manipulation instructions So here the first is CLR. CLR means it clears the content of accumulator. Accumulator. That means this accumulator will be set to zero. This accumulator will be set to zero. So that's a clear instruction. Clear. Next, COM. It gives a complement. It gives a complement the content of accumulator. So if you are specifying any register as an operand, the data of that particular register will be complemented, right? So content of accumulator or register. You can write anything, right? Accumulator. A complement will be done, right? Next. And so it performs end operation end operation between content of register and accumulator okay here also the same thing if we are giving only one operand the second operand will be the accumulator if you are giving two operands then immediately the end operation will be done in between two different registers right so we know end operation what is an end operation if 
any if both the inputs are true then only it becomes true right so that means so if both the inputs are one then only it will be one if any one of the input is zero the result will be zero so this is the end operation okay so the same thing performs on the content of register and the accumulator specified register right so in all these cases the bit manipulations will be done so the manipulations or the computations will be done on bits so that is most important so the, the operations will be performed on bits and the next one or operation this is also similar it performs or operation between content of register and accumulator and accumulator right and or means if any one input is true then result will be true so if it is both are false then it will be false if any one of the input is true then it will be true so this is a or operation and here also the the operation will be performed on bits of content of register and the accumulator and the second one and the next one xor so similarly it performs xor operation between content of register and accumulator accumulator right xor operation means if both the inputs are true or both the inputs are false then it will be false if there is an alternate that means one input is true and one input is false then it will return true so for example if both the inputs are false false if both the inputs are true again it is false and if one input is true and one input is false then it will be true so this is a xor operation and the same thing applies between the content of register and the accumulator next CLRC, CLRC. So it clears the carry flag. Carry flag, right? It clear clears the carry flag. Next, set C, set C. It sets the carry flag. That means it will be written to zero and it will be written to one, right? It will be set to one. Set to one. Next one, COMC. What is a COM? Complement. So it complements. It complement the carry flag. It complement the carry flag. And similarly, EI. It will enable the interrupt. It will enable the interrupt signal. Right, we have also seen the what is an interrupt and interrupt life cycle, right? So it will enable the interrupt. So for enabling the interrupt, we are using the uh, mnemonics called the instruction called EI. So DI it disables the interrupt. It disables the interrupt. Enable the interrupt and disable the interrupt. So these are the different operations that can be performed on as a logical instructions comes under the logical instructions that means it, it, the, the operations will be performed on individual bits or a group of bits individual bits or a group of bits right so I hope you understood this one and we'll move on with the next category that is shift or uh, rotate of instructions shift or rotate instructions shift or rotate instructions so we'll see what are what comes under this shift and rotate instructions and these instructions performs by shifting or rotating the bits of a word either towards left or right so shifting the bits 
okay shifting the bits towards left or right so we'll see mnemonics yes h r it give it performs a logical shift right so all the bits of a word will be shifted logically towards the right side and similarly yes h l it performs logical shift left so here also the bits will be shifted right and then uh, yes h r a so it performs arithmetic arithmetic shift right so arithmetically it will be performing the shift right operations and s h r l arithmetic there is slight difference between these arithmetic and logical shifts already we have discussed in our session so i post the uh, complete playlist in the description so that you can refer it right arithmetic shift left r o r this is nothing but rotate it performs a rotate right operation rotate right operation r o l it it performs rotate left operation r o r c rotate it performs a rotate right right here c means a carry rotate right through carry okay similarly r o r l sorry r o l c so it will perform rotate left through carry through carry right so these are the operations that will be performed and comes under shift and rotate instructions in all these instructions the the bits of a word will be rotated either left side rotated or shifted either right or left side right so these all three categories comes under data transfer and manipulation instructions so the first one is a arithmetic arithmetic second one we have seen the logical and the third one shift or rotate so these are the different categories of data transfer and manipulation instructions right so hope you understood this one uh, let's stop here if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much